greetings Photoshop illustrators and painters I have a solution to share and I'm excited about it so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it to you right away problem I was having issues with trying to select my brush size in a more efficient way than this I click on a shortcut button on my tablet which is a bamboo create and summon up this menu and then click and then I have to click somewhere else because if I click in my picture I already painted on it and then I have to undo which is another distraction so I found out yesterday after a full day of research online that the only way of doing this is with the mouse when you're using a PC you click on alt on the keyboard while clicking on the right button of your mouse you drag left and right and it, that will change the size of your brush and if you go up and down you can ch change the opacity of your, of your brush that is wonderful I never knew about it until yesterday got super excited until I found out that by default I couldn't make it work with my pen on my tablet I only I, I could only use it with the mouse it was standard on a Mac but not on a PC for some reason so could not find the information to turn it on to make it work anything so I figured it out by myself uh, I just keep, kept on trying options until I almost lost my mind so for you not to, to lose your mind I will show you the solution you go under control panels in um, Windows 7 if you have another Windows you'll have to figure out where that is Wacom preferences is what comes as a setup uh, control panel for as a bamboo create and you go under pen you turn on hover click which is under advanced so advanced hover click make sure that's turned on and also the button on the pen needs to be activated as well it's got two positions the top and the bottom there are two different buttons actually merged into one the bottom part I keep on pressing by mistake while I'm working because it's very close to the tip so I avoided that by disabling it and the top part I enabled it as the right click I click on whatever it's called at the time under clicks and then right click whatever you modify into this menu make sure you close it down completely before you proceed if you leave it in your background and then shut down your computer because you forgot it uh, your preferences will not have been saved the only way to save preferences in this menu I found was to close the menu every time or at least right before you shut down your computer so might as well shut it down now back in Photoshop now my my uh, my pen for the tablet has been activated as having a mouse button on it I can still use the mouse like right now I'm out right click the mouse it didn't change my mouse but it definitely changed the button on my pen because same issue I mean same solution is applied here so and if you by the way so alt button on the on the pen and then hover above the tablet if you touch the tablet it's gonna turn into a color picker so don't do that until you want to change colors uh, up and down for opacity again left and right for brush size so the shortcut for color picker is alt that is why because a combination because of the, because of the combination that is why if you touch the keyboard after changing or while changing not the keyboard but the tablet while changing the brush size is gonna revert to a color picker which could be distracting if you don't know about it another shortcut that might be useful to some but I don't like it I'll still show it to you control alt shift and that button you will have that special uh, color picker up here however as soon as you release or click somewhere it will choose that color and you'll be back to be to using your regular tool in this case it made my layer move so for that reason I don't use it but I just wanted you, you guys to know about it bonus piece of information I just want to show you something first uh, opacity a hundred percent so I'm doing some modifications on my painting and I don't like it heck I don't like a few steps of it might as well undo it at the push of a button so every push is one undo much simpler to do this with a big button I have on my graphic tablet than having to reach for my keyboard and doing control alt and then press Z repeat repeatedly until it works it still works but it's much more efficient to assign a button to that so again you go under Wacom sorry control panels Wacom preferences the button at the bottom here for me is what's closest to my left hand which is free and ready for keystrokes and stuff and I choose a keystroke under it I type control alt Z I name it as undo and that's the unlimited undo like it's limited to the number you put in the preferences I'll show you in a moment click OK shut that down completely with the X 
and then go back to Photoshop under preferences which is under edit and you go under performance and right here you have history states and that's the number that's the number of undos that you can have I, I, I left it up to 101 but I'm actually gonna boost it to 185 just because I'm insane <laughs> so because uh, I think I need it so at the press of one button I just get I just get rid of a whole lot of things practical when you're doing blades of grass or fur texture or anything repetitive like that sometimes you don't want to have to go access the history um, control panel I don't even want it on my screen most of the time because it's just cumbersome as you see I have very few control panels open I just need the tool presets my layers and my swatches because these days I'm working in bright colors so there you go that's what I wanted to share I hope this saves a whole lot of uh, headaches to people since I could not find it online I had to find a solution for myself I assume that others may have had the same issue thank you very much if you have any questions just ask them and I will do my best to answer quickly thanks